Schedule pen fattening can be rewarding if done correctly. Here's a guide on what you need to do it right. The business of cattle pen fattening involves feeding confined cattle for 90 days to improve on their weight and quality. In order to build a successful, sustainable cattle fattening business, you require sufficient knowledge of how to efficiently do cattle pen fattening, that is, the fattening techniques and good management skills. Here's what you need. Cattle. First you need the cattle to fatten. There are two options on this one. It's either you use your own cattle, that is from your own head, or you purchase from other farmers. You have to be really careful when buying cattle for fattening purposes. If you make the wrong decision and buy at excessive or high prices, you end up making a loss. When buying cattle, evaluate the potential for beef fattening of different types of cattle, that is in relation to the market price of different grades of beef. There are factors that you need to consider that include the breed, maturity, type and also age. Young stock have better feed conversion efficiency than older stock and they tend to finish better and will have a high degree of marbling in the meat. Cow cows and old oxen have a relatively inefficient feed conversion efficiency and the FCE or the feed conversion efficiency is defined as the quantity of feed required to put on one kilogram of carcass mass. To improve the animal's adaptation to the diet, a higher proportion of roughage should be included in the diet. Size at which an animal can be finished is determined by targeted finishing mass. Breeds differ in voluntary feed intake per day. Some animals will not adapt to intensive feeding conditions. Such animals, referred as non-feeders, either effuse high-energy diet or they react unfavorably to it. Feed Feed is the main cost in cattle pen fattening. Your cattle must be fed the correct quantity and quality and the right feed mixture so that they will be able to grow efficiently to utilize the feed efficiently and produce quality meat, resulting in you maximizing your profit. Failure to do so may lead to you missing your slaughter weight targets, getting poor quality meat, leading into losses. You can also buy complete balanced meals that are designed for cattle pen fattening over the normal 90-day period. Feeding rate will depend on factors such as live weight and the age of the animal, but it normally averages between 10 to 15 kgs per head per day or about 3.4% of the life mass per day. So by fattening your cattle, it means that you're increasing the weight over the 90 days, you get more weight and more money when you sell. And you are also increasing the quality or you are improving on the quality of the meat. So that is, you end up with a higher grade and more revenue when you sell. Capital. You will need capital that is for constructing your feedlots, for buying the cattle, for buying the equipment and infrastructure, for buying the stock feeds, for paying your employees, uh, the veterinary drugs, supplies, consultancy services, and so forth. So the scale of your pen fattening project will also depend on the amount of capital available. That is why it is very important for you to list down everything that you need before you start so that you will know all the costs that are involved and you make an informed decision. Market. We recommend that you always start with a market research before you invest in cattle pen fattening. There are a number of abattoirs in Harare and they do slaughter cattle and they also buy from farmers. Some offer slaughter only services whilst others offer both, that is slaughtering your cattle and also buying from you. The price of beef varies throughout the year and it is affected by factors such as the demand and supply. Some of the abattoirs that you can sell through are Koala, Montana Casual Meats, Sari Meats, and you can also sell through auctions or cattle auctions such as CC sales. Butcheries can also be your big customers for beef. There are a number of butcheries that buy from small-scale 
and medium scale producers. It is important though to really understand their payment terms before you sell your animals. Profitability. The business of cattle pen fattening is very profitable and only if it is done the right way. The profitability depends on your buying price, how much you are paying for your cattle. The cost of fattening, that is the cost of feed, the cost of veterinary drugs, the cost of labor and so forth. The price margin, the feed conversion efficiency, the unit cost per kg when selling. These are the key factors that determine your profitability. And once you understand the margins and the conversion ratios, it is easier for you to calculate your projected profits. For example, a 240 kg weighing steer will consume about a ton of feed. And that ton of feed will cost you about 405 US dollars. The steer will gain about 1.5 kgs a day, giving you a final weight of 420 kgs. And that's your life weight. The dressing percentage there is 54%. So that's 425 kgs times 54% times a super great price uh, at that moment. That will give you a general idea of the gross profit. Though you will have to include the purchasing price, the cost, the transport cost, as well as other overheads. So in terms of preparation, First of all, you need to make sure that you have your holding pens with adequate water and feeding troughs. Ensure there is enough space to avoid overcrowding. Your feeding troughs should be as far away from water as possible. This is meant to reduce contamination and to encourage movement of your cattle. You also need to ensure that there is fresh and clean water at all times. Allow for at least 50 liters per head per day. You can use half drums that are raised from the ground as water troughs. Your holding pens can be made using locally available materials such as wooden poles. Your site should be well drained, that is to avoid accumulation of waste which may lead to diseases and infections. Determine your feed requirements and ensure that you have enough for the fattening period. Roughage should always be available and allow for one ton per animal factoring in wastage. You also need to consult your local veterinarians for a guide on local diseases and prevention measures. Also check if there are any cattle movement restrictions. Dose your animals for internal parasites and also spray or dip your animals for external parasites prior to fattening. And lastly, you need to ensure your location is accessible and has a reliable water supply. Thank you for watching.